coming here to Aarhus uh, was a way to discover uh, new stuff about pedagogical matters and actually there are uh, as many different methods as there are uh, different countries. We always have to find new ways to, uh, to teach because students of today are not the same as the students of yesterday and they will not be the same in a few years. So teaching should not be always the same. I think that it's a huge advantage of this spring school that we have so many different nations working together to create the MOOC and the module for the students and that we can really learn much from each other because um, we are somehow trapped in our own um, systems. As uh, teaching is right now in universities, it's hard. I think we need to be able to kind of take all the things that we're used to, all the things that we have decided, this is how you teach, and then kind of, you know, throw everything away and try to just imagine what else could we do. And instead of seeing limitations, seeing options, it is so important as an archaeologist that you not just read about stuff, but that you actually see it, that you feel it, that you, you know, that you get the proportions of it, that you can maybe walk around it. Or, and if you can't do it in person, then you can use technology to, to, you know, 3D printers or virtual reality or stuff like that. It is so important. Archaeology is a very physical thing. So it might seem paradoxical to have it online. We want to touch things. Normally, we can't do that in our classroom teaching. So online media allows us to access those locations and sites that you wouldn't normally do. Of course, you can have field teaching, which is also excellent, but that costs a lot of money and resources and time. So by combining that classroom teaching and field teaching with online teaching, you can get the best of all the worlds uh, in teaching. <laughs>